But in Pixar, you have these quest giving machines and they just... What, what, what was that? What was that? Good day, friends. Welcome back to PixArk. And I know what you guys are thinking. Tommy, you said that this was going to be your favorite, your new favorite game. You said that you would play it all the time. And you had, this is only episode two. How are you only at episode two after all this time? Well, let me tell you, I've not been sitting around. I've actually been playing quite a lot. Look at this. Wait, how do I? Look at this. I've got armor now. I've got a sword. Look at... It's actually really good. It's actually really good. So this is the base and as you can see it is absolutely gone I have changed my mind. I have made this base over here as you saw in the last episode I made it pretty high, but part of it was in this biome You can barely tell by the, these colors of green that this is like actually the, like the border of a biome And for some reason sometimes it it's uh, snowy over there So I was nice uh, I thought I was nice and cozy up in my base and then it started snowing and I started freezing So I had to actually move my base because it was halfway into the snow So and I wanted it to be in the middle of this uh, Biome over here, which is basically the starting biome. So that's when I build you can probably already see it over there That's when I build this boom this took me very long. Don't underestimate it, please. It's it's this was all hills, so it's not just the building, it's also the taking away all of the hills. Uh, it took me forever, uh, but I am starting a huge tower. As you can see, it's 50 by 50 blocks. It's a perfect circle. Well, it's not a perfect circle, obviously, because it's made of cubes, but it's as close to a circle as it's possible. It's huge. Um, I've made this huge plan. Uh, the only problem is that even though that one, uh, that base over there was in the middle of the snow, halfway, it was halfway into the snow, uh, this base is really close to the swamp over here. And the swamp is actually pretty bad. You can already see a Dilophosaurus over there. And okay, occasionally raptors, um, those big crocodile things and those meat-eating plants, they just come over here. For some reason, they're not even supposed to do that. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to come over here. But they do come over here and they kill like everything that I've tamed. So that's really annoying. But finally, I have these walls up. So all of my dodos should be safe. And there's another thing as you can see over here, which is really weird. And that is my clone is here. My clone is here and he won't. I cannot get rid of him. I think it's a glitch. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but I do not know how to get rid of him. Basically, before I started this let's play, uh, before I started last episode, I uh, had this character where I decided to play a little bit before recording and then I decided, you know what, no, I want a fresh start, so I remade this character, I deleted that character, remade this character, then started the last episode, oh, that's actually pretty cool, Pink Sky. Also, wait, 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 where's the music, where's the music, I need some music, oh, that's better, that's better, anyway, I removed, I deleted that character, and he is just standing there, I deleted, I deleted you, I... Deleted you. I cannot kill him. I cannot do anything about him. I cannot get my, my, my pets to attack him. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. And then I noticed that there's actually another one over there. If you look really closely, that is my other account that I just used. That's basically my creative account for whenever I go like create, play in creative mode and do whatever creative stuff I will do. Um, so I can move that one because that account still exists so I can just switch characters and go onto that one and move him out of the way or somehow get rid of him uh, But this one I deleted this guy. I deleted you. Why are you still here? What am I supposed to do? My clone is here and he won't go away Even the raptors that come from the swamp won't eat my clone. I don't know what's going on Anyway, it's getting dark. So I'm going to get a firefly. I'm going to get a firefly. I think there you are firefly Will you be my friend? Yes! Whoa, in one go. That was cool. Okay, Firefly. And then you can, like, pick him up. And then he's on my shoulder. Check it out. Firefly on my shoulder. Instant light source. It's not huge light source, but it's really nice. By the way, if anyone is thinking, like, this looks weird, that's, of course, because it's not done. This is basically just one floor. The walls are supposed to go really high up. And then above this floor, uh, above me, will be all the way around, just like this floor that we're standing on right now. So it will have multiple floors, at least two floors. And then I want the top floor to be open, so I can land flying mounts on it. In fact, I, I think I want to tame a flying mount right now. Why not tame a flying mount? 
right now. I think I want to do that. Let's see if I have any sleepy arrows. I just have normal arrows. Okay, that gives me the perfect opportunity to show you. Wait, first let me show you Hero. It's a dodo, you might think. Why is why what's so special about Hero the Dodo? Hero the Dodo, um, basically at one point I had tamed all the animals around this area. I had tamed all of the animals. Uh, all, all, all dodos, all bunnies, all peckies, all fiomias. I had tamed all of them. So basically they were just wandering around. Just all my friends, all animals. Then one raptor came from the swamp, killed everything. Absolutely everything. A raptor came, killed everything every animal so when i uh, ran in that direction to see what had happened i saw all the animals were dead i saw the raptor running away back into the swamp because for some reason the animals that come from the swamp they don't attack me they just kill my animals they don't attack me so when i punch them or whatever they just run away even though they're really strong so that's really weird i think it has to do with them not being supposed to be here anyway that's when i saw this little dodo running after the raptor <laughs> he was trying to kill the raptor he was running after the raptor i will get you raptor so that's why that uh, dodo that's actually the only named dodo so of course uh needless to say uh all the animals that i tamed in the last episode are all gone because of the raptors constantly so i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking about building maybe like a wall between the swamp and this tower like just the, just the, the edge between the border between the zones uh between the biomes just making like a wall or something along those lines like that 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 that, that Dilophosaurus over there is not supposed to be here. Go back to your swamp. Although Dilophosaurus is not that strong. Raptor is really strong though. Raptor is really strong. Okay, so then what I want to show is of course this staircase. I hadn't even started talking about this beautiful staircase. Um, I am proud of this because it's actually really hard to build. If you don't know, if you haven't played this game. Basically there are rules for putting everything down. You can't just put any block anywhere. For instance... Uh, first you need to have uh, like a normal block like dirt or stone then on top of that you need foundation which is this floor for instance then on top of that you can put other things like walls or stairs so in order to make this staircase I had to do a lot of building and taking away blocks for instance first I had to make all of this this entire thing that I'm standing in now was just one huge pillar in which I had to take away almost all of the blocks to make a hole and then I could put the stairs in so it's just very strange stressful and confusing and i don't really understand why it works like that but i i, I don't know but it's, it's interesting i hope i can get used to it um and then i put of course chests up here so at least i know what i have and i can make sense of all my stuff and also because sometimes when animals attack you they can break blocks so that's why i didn't want to have the chest on the bottom floor uh, i might make some quick chests, some quick access chest on the bottom floor but i will uh this will be the but this will be the storage. Uh, of course, this is going to intend. Of course, I intend this to be like the entire floor. But it's really hard, and I ran out of I ran out of stone. So, but yeah, of course, I want to make the walls go all the way up to here, even higher probably, and then make another floor up here. So yeah, I'm sorry for talking so much, but I really wanted to get you up to date. Um, let's see if I have some. I think I had some sleepy arrows. Oh, I have 53. Get me some sleepy arrows. 53 should be plenty. I think you only need a few. And you need meat, right? I think the Pteranodons eat meat. I'm pretty sure they did. We did it in a live stream once. We did it in a live stream a few weeks ago. So I hope we can do it again. Get out of my house. Get out of my tower. <gasps> ah, my clone. Why? Okay. Um, sleepy arrows put in the bow. Sleepy arrows in the bow. Okay, nine. Okay, reload. Okay, I want to find. I want to find a really good pteranodon, like a decent level. Let's see what level is that one. Level sixteen. I'm sorry. Level sixteen. Level four. That's not very good. Big ear rabbit. Hey, how are you doing? Where is a good pteranodon? Also, does anyone know if these dirt blocks eventually turn into grass blocks like in Minecraft or not? Because I really hope they do. Because uh, because of all the digging I've done, there's these huge patches of dirt. So I'm sort of assuming slash hoping that they will turn into grass. Otherwise, it just looks horrible just to have this desert over here. <laughs> Wait, what level are you? Level... Oh, that, you're the level 4 one again. Okay, uh... Level 26. Okay, you know what? Why not? Why not? Are you going to land? No, you're going to fly away? I don't like that. Come here. <laughs> Can you guys see why I call this the dodo pool? 
This is, I, I call this a dodo pool. The first moment I spawned into this world, the very first time I created this world, I landed in this pool or near this pool and I saw all these dodos. I was like, hmm, it's the dodo pool. Okay, come on, are you going to land? Are you the level 26? You're level 10. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so picky about level. I'm not sure if it even matters that much. So I guess I'll just tame one. You! Miss. Total, total miss. What? I can't. He's in my base. And I cannot even... Oh, there goes an arrow. Okay, you. Become my pet. No! No, 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 no. Come back, I already shot, wasted an arrow on you. Oh, wait, is he going down? Is he actually going down? What if he... F what if he passes out and he falls into the water? What will happen then? You're only level 2, but you know what? Let's just do it. Yes. There we go. Okay, level 2, you know what? Let's just hope that level doesn't matter as much. Because in Ark, normal Ark, people always tell me uh, level doesn't really matter that much. Because even if you have like... Um, what was the example they gave? It's like even if you have a level 1000... If that's even possible, Dodo versus a level 1 T-Rex. The T-Rex is still going to win. So, uh, I'm not sure to what extent level matters. Okay, at the same time, I should probably make a saddle. Wait, how do we make a sa saddle? Parasaur saddle. Uh, wait, it's not even here. Terra Terranodon saddle. There it is. Terranodon saddle, leather, and wood. Why, why wood, though? Why? Okay, well, I think I have some leather in my base. I probably have enough to go all the way back to my base and get the leather. Why are you in my base? Get out! Get out of here! Get out of here! I, I need I need, I need a roof. <laughs> I really need a roof. Get out of here, you! Get out of here! Get out! Come on! Be gone. Do, do, do. What? Are you serious right now? Are you... Get out of here! Come on! <laughs> get out, you guys! Come on, please! Leather, I have 150. That's That has to be enough. That has to be enough. And some wood. And then you can craft a saddle. Oh, man, you know what I don't like? Is those uh, Fiomias, I think they're called. Those elephant boar things. Uh, because they're supposedly passive, right? So they shouldn't attack you. But then I'm just peacefully just digging around. And then they just walk in front of me. I'm not even making this up. They just walk in front of me. So my pickaxe hits them. Even though it's their fault for jumping in front of me. And then they attack me and kill me. Like it's my fault. Like I started a fight. And that's just not cool. They're just bullies. That's not even cool. I love this music. Why did I not have the music on at the start of this video? I'm so sorry. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, compies, compies. Do you want to be friend? I've got a really strong sword. Okay. I don't know what you want. Wait, can I feed them? How do you feed them? Wait, can I actually like put meat here and give it to them? Wait, let me try. Let me try. Can I? How do I give them the meat? You can actually have my meat. I just don't know how to give it to you. I genuinely, I do not know. <laughs> what is stalkers? Uh, how do I give it to them? I really... Do I knock them out? I, I don't really want to spend an arrow on them. So I don't think I will do that. Okay, well, while we're waiting, right? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I'm going to draw paint white on blue. That's what I'm going to do. So it looks like a proper proper blueprint. This is a, bl a, a blueprint, okay? Take me serious. Take me serious. Okay, so basically what I want is to have make my tower, right? Like right now I have this and then in the middle you have the staircase that goes all the way up to the next floor. And then this would be like the storage floor with all the chests and stuff and what I have there. And then I want to, it to go up even higher. And then there would be like a top floor or whatever uh, with a smaller uh, with smaller walls and then there would be like an outer part sort of sticking out okay this looks horrible but this is where we could like land the flying mounts and keep the flying mounts up there so we can go to the top get on top of like a pteranodon and fly around and i would like if it had like a round roof or round something round would look cool and then of course this is the floor right this is ground level this is ground level then i want some kind of underground entrance ideally for dinosaurs for ground dinosaurs and then have like an underground place i think that would be really cool if we had like an underground place for the dinosaurs um 
maybe even make the staircase oh even make the staircase go all the way down to that floor and then this would be like farms with animals underground i think that would be pretty cool i think that would be really cool just to have this huge tower maybe i'll add up some even some more floors that would be really cool as well anyway tell me what you think about that okay so i just ate a bunch of these white berries they make your drink bar go down so fast look at how fast it's going down that's insane. That's so fast. Okay, I need to drink more. What? How fast is it? Just stop. Stop making it go down. It already went down three times. I only ate like 10 of these berries. Okay, stop making my drink bar go down. Oh, it's finally stopping. Okay, drink one more time to have it just full. Okay. Yes! Pteranodon. You know what? I'm not even going to name you because I have absolutely no confidence in you staying alive. Okay. Uh, saddle... Uh, I guess you don't need those narco berries anymore. You can keep the meat if you want. Okay, I've got a saddle on him. Can I sit? <gasps> oh, man. Press left mouse button to attack. Press right mouse button or C to use to use skill if your dino has one. Okay, use the skill. I don't know what that is. Is it like a dive, maybe? Okay, this is attack. Rah! Dude, this is so cool. By the way, for those of you who missed the live stream, we didn't actually fly on the dinosaur. So you didn't miss out on any of this because we managed to tame this guy. And then I realized I wasn't high enough level to make the saddle. Oh man, my base looks so cool from the air. Look at this. Look at this. Perfect circle. Well, not perfect circle, but you know what I mean. I really hope that that dirt will become grass eventually though, because otherwise... I mean, it just looks messy. How do you make it uh, back into grass? I don't know. Oh. Sudden change in music. What's going on? What was that? What was that sound? I don't... 6 a.m. Does that just mean daytime? Maybe it just means daytime? Maybe it just means, oh, it's 6 a.m. So there's a new day? I don't know, but this is really cool. So imagine if, like, above this floor, there would be another floor. It would be like a ceiling, a roof part, where you could just land the Pteranodon, and you can just take it wherever you want and whenever you want. Wait, how does it take the Dodos? Can it... <gasps> it can totally take the Dodos. Look at this. It can take the Dodos with it. Now drop. <laughs> that is... Wait, can I take this? <gasps> Maybe I can take this guy. Maybe I can take my clone and put him somewhere else so he's not completely in a, in a way. How do I turn around? How do I turn around? Get him. Do I get him? Okay, wait. Fly. How do I grab? Him? How do I turn around? I'm so bad at this. Okay, grab. Did it work? No, it just lands on him. He just lands on his head. No, I want you to grab him. I don't, I'm not sure if that's possible. Okay, wait. Fly up. Fly up. Steer. I'm really bad at steering this guy. I don't know why. I guess because it's mouse steered and not um, with the keys or anything. Okay, grab. Get, did I get him? No, come on. I'm not sure if this is possible, you guys. Grab him. No, he just lands on his face. He just lands on his face. Stop landing on his face. Oh, he keeps landing because he's tired. He keeps landing because he's tired. What? He's even unconscious right now. Oh my god, I didn't notice that. What? So you can only fly for a very little time and then he goes unconscious? That doesn't make any sense. And I still want to get rid of you, my clone. Are you serious? <laughs> I deleted him. I deleted this guy. So how is it possible that he's still here in my tower? I really don't like you. Get, get out of my tower. I don't like you. Get out of my tower. Oh, my. He's unconscious for a while. Well, at least we got to fly him for a while. So that was fun. Him or is it a her? Maybe it's just a her. No, it's a him. It's a him. The guys, can you stop pooping in my tower? We talked about this when we played Ark. I don't like it when you guys t poop in here. Free roam dodo eggs. Okay, let's see what other plans did I have. Oh yeah, I could also do a quest because I don't think you have these in Ark. I, I don't think so. I haven't played that much Ark. I think I'm already at more hours played in Pixar than Ark. That's how, how much of a noob I am in Ark. But in Pixar you have these quest giving machines and they just... What, what, what was that? What was that? What on earth was that? I didn't... There was like a space dodo just... Like... 
going so fast. Okay, well, anyway, um, let's see if there's any quest givers now. There are just these weird mailboxes. Uh, I don't see any on the map. Usually they should show on the map. A Pteranodon egg. Okay, but if I pick that up, they all attack me. And I'm not sure if my sword is strong enough to kill a Pteranodon. So I'm not going to do that. If you um, pick up an egg, all the animals of that type, they will get aggressive, or a lot of them. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I think it's kind of like in Jurassic Park 3, when Billy picked up the raptor egg, and then the entire movie, the raptors were after them, and they were like, why are the raptors going to such great lengths to kill us, and to try to follow us, and to stalk us? And it was like, Billy, Billy, you took the raptor egg, Billy. Billy, why would you do that, Billy? I don't like you, Billy. And then Billy almost died and he was like, Oh no, Billy. I'm so sorry for saying I don't like you. I like you, Billy. I'm sorry, Billy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on a whole monologue about Jurassic Park 3. Why is there no quest? I want to go all the way down there and see what's down there. But I think I want to just tunnel a little bit more safely because my base is right over there. So it shouldn't be too hard to just sort of get there and make a tunnel from my house into a cool, a real mine. Wait, what? On earth do I have a pecky here what I thought all my animals were dead thanks to that raptor and maybe we can get you back home tada I made my way up and if you're not coming then that's your problem I'm going to see if my pteranodon is woken up yet and if not then I guess I'm going to fly him and find a mailbox in the next episode because I just checked how long I've been recording for and it was almost exactly half an hour and I'm really proud of that because I'm really bad with time like I have a very bad idea of I'm, I'm genuinely not even like this is not even like a way of saying it I'm literally handicapped when it comes to telling time so I'm, I have a really hard time telling how much time has passed so and usually I like to record for about half an hour and I just checked how long I've been recording and it was exactly half an hour and so that's why I'm really proud of it. So yeah, it's going to take a while for him to wake up. So I guess in the next ep get out of my house. Get, uh, get out of my house. I like how it says ouch, but he's not actually getting hurt. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, well anyway, um, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys like this series. I want to play this some more. So I think I might play this more than once a week. I'm just going to at this point, I'm just sort of playing what I want. Wait. There's untamed dodos in here. How are they babies of the existing dodo? How does this work? There's untamed dodos. You're all welcome, dodos. You are my allies. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you think about the series. Do you play the game as well? And if so, do you have any tips? Because as you can probably tell, I'm still noob and I'm still new. Uh, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better when I'm not recording. I'm playing a lot. Uh, so I hope by the next episode I will be uh, this tower will be a little bit bigger. I hope every time the tower will be a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and I will understand a little bit more about the game because I think this game is just so cool. It's about dinosaurs and buildings, so it's like the most perfect game for this channel. So I'm really happy with this, and yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Apart from that, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. You want to say something, little dodo? No? Alright. Okay, well, goodbye. Wait, can I wave? Is there a way to wave? I don't think... Is there... there... Wait, what? Oh, I can look on the map. Okay, well, that counts. This is me waving, okay? Bye. <laughs>